programming made possible by Bardstown, Kentucky. There's something beautiful about a small town. And Four Roses Bourbon. Thank you for your support. You're going to tell me a little bit today about the history of Bardstown's formation? Right. And you know, I, I talk history like other people talk sports. So <laughs> I always want to, people when they leave here to understand more about where they've been visiting. Carrie, I want to take you down Broadway. I have some of my beautiful old homes here and I think you'd enjoy seeing them. Oh, absolutely. I love old houses. See, tell me a little bit about the history of Bardstown. Well, it goes back to 1780 when William Bard, the surveyor, would lay out a uh, town on the land that his brother, David Bard, owned. They had acquired this land through uh, a land war from the French and Indian War. They laid it out on top of this hill because it was so much healthier to live up on a hill where all the water flushed, all the dirt and the manure and everything over the hill. And so that's what would happen here. Bardstown's state is 1780. We became a county in 1785 and then we became Bardstown, Kentucky in 1792. Wow. We have over 300 houses listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Wow. You're standing in the middle of 20 of them. You see the plaque on the wall? Yeah. We note that all over town in different houses. Give you a little history and also let you appreciate what the early settlers did and what they had to face. Lots of people ask me where Bardstown got its name and they first thought is Shakespeare. You know, the Bard? And of course I have to tell them that's not exactly right. The Bard came from the Bard family, and they didn't call it Bardstown, they called it Salem. So Salem was the name for the first three years, but everyone referred to it as Bard's Town because he planned it and he was marketing it. So from 1784 on, we've been Bardstown. So the railroad arrived here too, not too long after. Right before the Civil War. One year before the Civil War. Just in time to start hauling the Yankee uh, materials, the this, this tombstones, the horses, the hospital goods. Well, so now after the Civil War is when bourbon really became a big thing here. You know what we like to say? The Union soldiers came and we gave them a taste of bourbon and from then on they were going to buy Kentucky bourbon. <laughs> and when the railroads expanded out west, that's where our market expanded. We put our barrels of whiskey on those car, those rail cars, sent them to Colorado, to California to Texas. Anywhere that rail went, our bourbon could go. Wow. Well, Dixie, you're going to take me to where it all started, aren't you? I hope so. If you don't have it, you don't have bourbon. All right, let's go. Programming made possible by Bardstown, Kentucky. There's something beautiful about a small town. And Four Roses Bourbon. Thank you for your support.